is up, movie fanatics? I hope you're all having a great day, and welcome to another Out and About. I'm really excited right now. I get out of the house for a little bit. Jesse's working. Grandma has the baby. So I figured, you know what? I got some errands to run. I'm going to go hunt for some movies, and I'm going to bring you guys with me. Uh, I don't even know where I'm going to go today, you guys. I, I know I have to run to the exchange because I have to trade in some stuff that CD Warehouse wouldn't take. So I'm going to go there first. I might go to Big Lots. Just go everywhere and just blow a ton of money because I don't have someone whispering in my ear, don't do it, you're going to sleep on the couch. So first, we're going to go to the exchange, and I will see you guys when I get there. See you in a little bit. Alrighty, I am out of the exchange and I'm so freaking excited right now, you guys. You have no idea. Sorry for the lack of footage, first off. Uh, they were packed. It's the middle of the day. I don't know how they're packed. Anyway, I found two things and one of them is an out of print movie. It's an out of print movie. Oh, I can't believe it. I almost fell over when I saw it and I got it for a great deal as well. So I picked up two things at the exchange. Big Lots is somewhere over behind me. And I'm going to head there, too, because a lot of people have been saying they've been having some good luck there at Big Lots. And I, I haven't been to one in, in a long time, so why not? And then I'm going to head to Half Price because it's right down the road. I haven't been there in a while. I like to hit up Big Lots and Half Price every once in a while because you never know what you're going to find. And they take longer more like versus like um, the exchange and, and CD Warehouse to get better stock. So I don't like to go all the time because going in and not finding anything or finding something that's overpriced is always... Uh, kick in the head, I guess. But I'll see you guys at Big Lots. I'm going to go get some footage for you guys. So we'll see you in Big Lots. I am out of Big Lots, and I am so impressed right now. They had two standees with movies on them. They, they never have two standees. Well, I mean, it's been a really long time since I've seen it. From the footage, the first standee is usually what they have, and that's it. And I was kind of bumming because they only had, like, five movies on it. Anyway, I went to the second standee. So I ended up finding two things. One of them is a double feature that I actually saw in TD Healthy 2015's video. Shout out to him. Link is in the description below. So I'm really excited that I actually found this. Both were three bucks. You can't beat it. I'll show you guys when I get home. So I'm on a roll right now, you guys. I'm I'm really excited right now. I'm finding some great stuff. I didn't think I'd be able to find anything today. So I'm going to head on over to Half Price and cross our fingers that this luck streak keeps going. So I will see you guys at Half Price Books. Of half price books and i'm gonna be honest here i thought it was gonna be a flop i really did i thought that my luck came to an end up at big lots but i was walking out and i hit their clearance section one more time because more and more it seems like i don't know if anybody else has notices this with um, their half price books but our clearance section here is getting bigger and bigger because i don't think people are buying as much because half price prices are insane when it comes to movies i don't i don't get it like they, for an example, they had some 4Ks there. They had like Sausage Party for 12 bucks, which is fine. But then they had 
Magnificent Seven still for 20. Like, I mean, I don't know. I'm probably just cheap. I don't know. But as soon as I was getting ready to walk away, I saw something that caught my eye and I'm glad I grabbed it because I found a 4K in the clearance section, something that I've been wanting and I'm glad I finally got it and I paid. Well, you'll have to wait and see when I get home, but I got some great stuff. I think my luck has run out. I'm gonna go get some food and I will show you guys what I picked up when I get home. A few inches later. Alrighty guys, I am home. I forgot to mention this actually because I was so excited when I left Half Price. I actually got a book too. So here is my stack. I'm really excited here. I got one, two, three, four, five, six titles here. All for great prices. So let's start with the book first. Um, when I did my Stephen King collection, I talked about how my very first book was Pet Cemetery, but I read it like twice. It's been through the ringer. So I was really excited because finally, I've been looking at Half Price for a long time now, and finally, I found a better uh, edition of Pet Cemetery, meaning in better condition, because mine is just it's special to me, and I don't want to keep reading it because it keeps falling apart more and more, and I want to hold that one close in my collection. So... I love this book. This is one of my favorite Stephen King books. If you guys have never read it, I highly recommend it. Moving along to movies, let's start with Big Lots. First thing I picked up here for $3. I've never heard of it. I know nothing about it. It just sounded interesting to me, and that is Daywatch Unrated. I had to throw in the Unrated there for what reason. I don't know. It was $3, as you guys can see. And it uh, says on the back here, in this thrilling sequel to Night Watch, O only one thing stands between peace and Armageddon, the supernatural agents of Daywatch who fight control of the armies of light and darkness. That sounds really exciting. I didn't know that this was the sequel until I reread it just now to you guys, but maybe I can hunt down the original one and see how it is. But if you guys know anything about these movies, let me know in the comments below. This one I'm really excited about. Growing up, I've been a big baseball fan. I played baseball. I was never any good at it, so I switched to hockey when I got a little bit older. But my mom was really big into baseball growing up, so we watched a lot of baseball movies. And this is one that I always loved, and I always wanted on Blu-ray, but... I don't know why, I just never could find it, but for $3, I had to grab this double pack of A League of Their Own and The Natural. I don't remember The Natural. I don't I don't know if I've ever seen it. I mean, I love Robert Redford, but I can't remember if I've ever seen it, but A League of Their Own, I absolutely love Tom Hanks, Rosie O'Donnell. There's a lot of people in there. Uh, Gina Davis, that's it, Gina Davis, I couldn't remember. But this, one of my favorite baseball movies, I, I really do, I, I love it, Tom Hanks is brilliant in it as usual, but if you guys have never seen A League of Their Own, I highly recommend it, and let me know what you guys think of The Natural uh, with Robert Redford, because I'm really curious to see how that one is, and you know what, you can never really have enough sports movies, or in my case, baseball, because I love my baseball, and I love my hockey, so that is A League of Their Own and The Natural. Now, before we get into the really cool pickups, I wanted to show this off. I got this at the exchange. This is one movie that I watch every year around Halloween. I get lucky because it's usually on TV, and that is Flatliners. I love this movie. I watched the remake recently, and I uh, wasn't a big fan of it. It fell flat, to say the least. But Jess is a huge fan of Kiefer, Kiefer Sutherland. That's it. And I love Julia Roberts and, of course, Kevin Bacon. She's never seen this movie, and when it was on TV, she watched like five minutes of it and then had other things to do. You know how it is. But So I picked this up for five bucks. Is it upside down? Doesn't matter. It's not focusing. There it is. Five bucks. Couldn't say no to it. I know that there's that really, really nice steel book, but I just wanted it to have it throw up on the shelf so I can watch it once a year. But I do really love this movie. Now, moving along to the two things that completely made my day. This first one was a 4K, and like I said, if I wouldn't have grabbed it off the shelf, I would have never known. I got this at Half Price Books for $4, you guys, price tags on it here, and that is the original Ghostbusters. Hell yeah, can you see that $4? Yeah, you can. Right there, and it was marked down all the way to 4 Well, of course, you know, you think there's something missing or wrong with it. So I, I opened it just to make sure before I took it up to the register, and it has both discs. So you can't go wrong there. I'm so excited because I love this movie and I wanted to get it on 4K. I wanted to see what it was like on 4K. I like the, the, the original um, the best. I like the second one, but I like the original more. And to have it on 4K now, I'm really excited because I have the steel books. But I, when I announced this, I remember everybody picking it up. I, had, I was like, oh, I don't want to double dip. But for $4, it's worth a double dip. And last but not least, the out-of-print Blu-ray that I found at the exchange. I am so excited. I cannot believe I found this. And that is Godzilla vs. Biollante. 
I could not believe I found this. The only other time I ever seen this in a store was when we were down visiting Outlaw and uh, when Hastings was closing and he ended up finding this at Hastings. I forget what he paid, but it was under five bucks. And I only paid $8. Come on, focus. $8. Can you guys see that? Hang on. We'll get it. Eight bucks. There you go. Right there. Eight dollars for this. It goes for like a hundred bucks or so on eBay. Last time I checked, at least. I don't know. I could be talking out my butt, whatever. But this is one of the Godzilla movies that I wanted to get so bad for my collection. I'm so glad to have it. So for eight dollars, something out of print. The only thing that's wrong with it is if you guys can see here, the Blu-ray case is cracked. But who gives a crap? I have extra ones. I can replace it. So you can't go wrong there. So there you have it guys, the stack one more time for you. I was pretty lucky today and like I say, if there's a pawn shop around you or a used store, definitely check it out you guys. You never know what you're gonna find. So thank you all for joining me on another Out and About. If you like Out and Abouts and you wanna see more like it, click that thumbs up, lets me know you're enjoying them. If you like movies as much as I do, click that subscribe button. I'm always looking for more people to talk movies with. And as always everybody, take care and happy watching.